There's the herd. Everyone ready? <laughs> Are you joking? We were born ready. Let's go get them, flaming skulls! Nope. That's awful. It is a pretty bad name. Good effort, Dorakai. Forget it. Let's just go kill something. about you three, but I feel better. Aloy, did you get that component? We did it again! That's another part down. One more and you'll have what you need to pay off Burgrind. It's starting to feel real, you know. I'm starting to believe we're really gonna get out of here. Yeah, honestly, I wasn't sure we'd survive a week without Nikoni. But here we are. Who's Nikoni? Nikoni... Nikoni was... She was a friend of ours. She challenged the chieftain for control of our... of the Werak. She didn't make it. No. If you're gonna tell this story, tell it true. She was murdered. Is this why you left Benoit? Because of this business with Nikoni and your chieftain? Onika knew Nikoni was our mentor, our friend. We couldn't stay. That final night, we snuck back to camp, packed what we could, and left. Like cowards. What are we to tie? We are Banuk, aren't we? Survive and prevail. That's what we do. It's not what she did. What happened? How did you lose Nikoni? She challenged the chief into a hunting competition. Oni could damn him. He wasn't nearly the hunter Nikoni was. But who comes back to the camp after the trial? Oni could, grinning like a snap maw, crowing, Oh, where's little Nikoni? We tracked Nikoni through the woods. Found her not far from the trailhead. With her damn neck snapped. I don't want to remember her like that. Sometimes that memory, it's all I can think of. I'm sorry to die. 
It sounds like she meant a lot to you. To all of you. The Coney challenged the chieftain. Why? Only Cup wrapped himself in power and authority the way some people wrap themselves in furs. If you were willing to fawn over him and sing false songs to him, you might get a spot on the best hunts. The Werax split into two. Those willing to lick the bottoms of Onikut's feet, and the rest of us, waiting for things to get better. Until Nikoni. She was the best and bravest of us. She was the one who took a stand. It's nice to be heard. Thank you, Aloy. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? What happened in Bonowar is buried in Bonowar. What matters now is what happens in the Sundom. That's where the burning turkeys are gonna make a name for ourselves, right? Oh, the burning turkeys? Seriously? It rolls off the tongue. Sort of like vomit? So, where to next? There's a lake just west of here. Seems like a good place to find a snap fang. We'll meet you there. If you beat us there, just wait by the campfire. We'll be along. Don't really feel like talking. You listen nearly as well as you hunt. Care to talk about these figurines of yours? They're not really mine, but I've always got time to talk about them. There you go, Enjuk. That should be the last of the figurines. By the blue light, I didn't know if I'd ever see the whole collection reunited. <laughs> and look at them. Beautiful. You've done a great thing, Aloy. These may represent the last record that any of these beasts ever lived. Take this. It's the least I can do. And come back any time. I and our animal friends await your return. That's all I need to know. Are you sure? You can never learn too much. Montana Recreations! How would you like to find yourself cornered by that thing? I suspect I'd like it very much indeed. What a beautiful beast you were! Puma Concalor, the fearsome cougar. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. This coat is sand color. Could it be a burrowing animal? Perhaps those teeth were only used for digging? Bison, bison, bison. That's the actual Latin name of the regal American bison. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Latin? Perhaps that's some sort of old world custom in which one repeats the name of a particularly revered animal. Ursus Arctos. The menacing grizzly bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations! Those claws look like they could rip someone in half. Perhaps in its youth, but you heard Montana Recreations. You said it's grizzled, old. Its hunting days are behind it. Odoclodius Virginianus, the majestic mule deer. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Not built like a predator, but... 
Perhaps it needed those horns to take down its prey in the absence of sharp fangs. Canis Lupus, the enigmatic gray wolf. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Could it be that these wolves and our foxes are the same somehow? Perhaps after hundreds of winters. No. No, that's ridiculous. Alsus Alsus. The Noble Moose. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. The horns grow like trees. Of course, this moose used those bizarre growths to blend in with its forest home. Feels like sunburn. 